What's up, everybody? This is Eric from Eats Computer Solutions. So, I'm running Android 10 on my LG G8, and one of the unique features that was passed on to this device was desktop mode. Now, y'all guys that have been following me on this YouTube channel, y'all guys know that I am a huge fan of Samsung DeX. Uh, Samsung DeX, and now that's coming to this device, uh, is a PC-like experience when connecting it to a monitor, which is USB Type-C to HDMI. So in this video, I'm going to compare the two uh, between the Samsung DeX and uh, the new desktop experience on the LG device. Let's see what it's all about. Sit back and relax and get your popcorn ready and follow me on this journey. Let's go. What's up guys, this is Eric back with another video. So I got the ultimate setup here that I wanna show you. Uh, I have a Bluetooth keyboard and mouse right here and I have Dex. That's the old Dex that you can get for 30, 40 bucks right now. And I have a USB connector, uh, USB type C to HDMI connector. Uh, and over here, I got the Galaxy Note 10 Plus and I have it connected to my PC. This is Dex running. So I got Dex running on my PC. And what I wanna do here is I want to connect my LG G8 to a Dex pad, which you can use it by the way. Uh, you can use your LG G8 to the Dex pad and now you're gonna get the full functionality of the desktop mode here. All right, so let's go to the connected. I got the LG G8 and have a plug it into the Samsung Dex pad. And uh, because it's USB type C. And so when I plug it up, it's going to change, boom. Now, since I got it connected, there it is. So this is full desktop mode uh, running on my LG G8. All right, so let me show you here, right? So as you see the beautiful wallpaper that LG put on there, and when you set it up, here you go. You have your icons right here on the screen, which you can go to your gallery. You got quick memo if you need to really type really fast on something. So now you have a memo, boom, there it is, right? So that's LG Terms of Service, which I don't use. I always use Word. And uh, so there it is, full desktop mode. And it's the same as Dex, the same as Dex and everything in between. So. Uh, let me go ahead on and show you guys some stuff here. And uh, let me go ahead and open up a Word document here. So there it is, Word. And uh, I, I was doing my OnePlus 6T, uh, typing that up and boom, there it is, right? Woo! And now I can have a nice typing experience on a bigger canvas. Uh, so that's great. Get out of that. And uh, you can navigate through the OS, just like Dex. And uh, all I have is one page, and that's this is nice. Another thing that you could do on here is again watch some YouTube videos, right? And I mean, let's go to Chrome, and uh, let's go to some YouTube videos. Boom! All right, so there it is. I got YouTube playing. It looks really good, and uh, it's working fine. Uh, the speed is really good, and uh, a lot of you guys might ask a question about gaming. Yes, there we go. So you can game and uh, just use your mouse. And there it is. So now I can game. <laughs> yes. So remember, it, you probably can't play PUBG or nothing on this. But uh, yeah, some light casual gaming. Uh, yes, you could do that. Uh-oh, let me turn the volume down a little bit. But yes, yeah, some light casual gaming. I would tell you that, yes, you could do that here on a bigger canvas. And as far as the speed, speed-wise, it's doing very well. So you don't have no problems with speed. So uh, in th this was the same thing that happened that, uh, when I used Dex. Uh, if I wanted to play games or something, it pop up a smaller screen. But you can't enlarge it on Dex. If I enlarge it here, it's going to kind of crash on me. So some of the bugs is not ironed out yet, uh, but if I play the same game on Dex, it won't crash. It'll blow it up in a bigger canvas. Uh, and let me give you an example. Let me fire up Dex really fast. And uh, so let's go to Dex, turn the camera over here. Let's get to Dex. And, and again, I got it on my PC so I can use, utilize the keyboard and mouse. Now here on Dex, as you can see, uh, 
you can utilize the whole canvas and i've been i mean look i do power director word powerpoint excel and everything on dex so as you can see dex has more of a dark theme going on uh versus the lg g8 but yeah i mean you can use let's see if i can play a game here and let y'all guys see that but right here uh let's go on and get out of that some daily, daily stuff and kind of been playing this a little bit boom okay so there we go let's go back to the lg g8 bigger screen bigger canvas and uh let y'all guys see that boom look at that see if i could open up the gram uh, I can open up the gram. That's me right there. Booyah, booyah. Now it does look funny looking. I mean, it's really blow it up. So it, I don't know if you're gonna wanna look at it like this, but uh, yeah, there it is. But at least it's 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 working right. So, um, hmm. So one of the problems I'm seeing right here is that how to close it. So the right click doesn't work. Huh. So again, this is like it's a work in progress, guys. So I don't have no way to close this. Let's see if I can hit the exit. Uh-oh. Oh, <laughs> I got my man up there. See, it's no way to close it. Okay. So as you can see, we're running into some issues already. There it goes. So it's no way for me to close this. Now, it, 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 it giving me arrows to expand it, and then expanding is not working. So here we go, work in progress, work in progress. As you know, with Dex, uh, there's a way that it, it will have a way to close it. So you can close it on Dex, but as you can see me opening up an app, now I'm stuck. The only way for this to work, I can actually go to the device. Let me show you guys real quick, because I'm going to the device, and uh, as I'm going to the device, here I can close it out. All right, so that's a way that you can do it. Look like, uh, but the, the reason for you to have this setup is to plug up a keyboard and mouse, but we are running into some issues here. Huh, there it is. So I just want to kind of make this video so y'all guys can see that yes, uh, the LG G8 does have a desktop experience. That one of the things that I had to do here, and let me show you, uh, because if you plug this up for the first time, you might run into an issue. And what I had to do was I had to go into uh, developers mode. Hmm. And on developer options, you have to force. And I did this. I, I forced the uh, this, the desktop uh, mode. Um, so. Just be advised of that you might have to go to developer options and you have to force desktop mode. Let me see if I can find it. Maybe I'll pass it up. Force desktop mode. So that's what you got to do here in uh, the settings under developer options. You have to force desktop mode. And I don't know if you guys seen it. Let me go here and show you on the device so you can see it. So yes, you have to go into systems you have to go into developer options and you got to scroll almost all the way down to force desktop mode. And uh, here, the screens are a little bright. Let me go in and cut the screen brightness down a little bit so y'all guys can see this. Because if you don't do this, the desktop mode will not work. Hmm. Wow, so I'm running into a, a little small issue here. Okay, so, uh, and I'm glad y'all seeing this. Okay, so right now I cannot adjust, <laughs> I cannot adjust uh, uh, the brightness level right now. Uh, let's see if I can unplug it. All right, so <laughs> when I unplug it, now I can adjust uh, my brightness level here. All right, so they got some things that need to be worked out, but uh, if you see here, uh, you have to uh, force desktop mode, okay? You have to force desktop mode. Okay, so let's talk about some of these issues here, and uh, I want y'all guys to see it on the device. Um, so when I first plugged this in, 
you have to do some audio modifications. Uh, so I have to scroll down and you have to go to audio path. Now, right now the audio path is on HDMI. The problem is, is that I'm not getting any audio coming from the device through the HDMI to the monitor or the TV here. Now with DeX, yes, but here, no. So I had to press on the LG G8 here because of that. Also, uh, one of the things you have to understand here is that when you press on desktop mode, it goes into a mirror. So it has two options. Uh, as you can see, and I'm gonna show you here on the screen, right here, when I press the desktop, when I scroll down here, right now I'm in sharing, uh, screen sharing mode, but if I press it again, then it goes into desktop mode. So that's some of the things that you got to understand. You have some issues here uh, with audio, but, uh, and I tried it, uh, from the HDMI to USB type C and I was still running into those problems uh, So that's why I'm not even worried about the reason why I'm using the dex pad But uh, another thing is that you can't control your brightness Look like you can't control your brightness uh, Once you're in this mode, that's one issue uh, That I'm finding out and then if you hit desktop mode you run into a mirror Which is fine. I mean it, it's no big deal. You could do it this way if you want to uh, but yes, so there it is, desktop mode there. All right, now, there's some kinks that need to be worked out here uh, with the LG G8 in a desktop mode. Uh, as, as you know, DeX has been around for years. Uh, I don't run into those problems with DeX, but yes, I am running into those problems with um, this here. Now. Real quick before I end the video, I got so much stuff to show you guys and I don't want this video to be so long. All right, so this module here costs about, you know, 10, 15 bucks. I made a video about this here. Uh, this has been a very useful tool, but you can use this also here. Uh, and all you have to do is just plug up your HDMI and your USB type C. So you got a port here for USB type C. You have a port here for HDMI. Okay, all right. And then all you have to do is plug up the device to your USB type C, and then you go get the same results. Okay, so once you click there, it's now it's connecting and boom, you get the same results. So now at this point, I have a, a couple of USB ports if I need to plug up a, a thumb drive or anything that I need to plug up here. Now I have uh, full authority to plug up two uh, USB items here if I want to do a keyboard or something like that. So this comes in very handy uh, when it comes down to getting work done. So now you have a dock and it works great. And it's yes, it's charging the device. And yes, I do have a Bluetooth keyboard and mouse. So the LG G8 is becoming a almost function, functional device to get work done I think LG has some issues to cook out uh, to get this stuff done. Now, as you know, DeX is going to work 100%, but uh, I'm, I'm excited to see the direction of LG and what the LG team is doing with Android 10, with the LG G8 and the V50. This is Eric from Easy Computer Solutions. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think about this experience here that we having now with this new uh, desktop mode on Android 10. I'm glad to see it. Hopefully we can get some things ironed out, some of the bug fixes, and it'll be 100%. See you guys on the next video. Peace.